If you're going to be taking your Bronco wheeling and you need a compressor to air up your tires, this thing is amazing. The speed that the Maxi Track 300 inflated our tires will blow your mind. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage. We're putting out daily Ford Bronco content. We've got a 2021 first edition that we are currently modifying. And then we also have two classic Broncos that are in the middle of our restoration. So please subscribe and join us in our journey on our three Broncos. In the last two days, we did an aired down video using the small brass adjustable deflators that you can buy for less than $20 on Amazon. Now we're gonna see what we can do to get them aired back up from 21 pounds back up to 40 pounds using the Maxi Track 300 LPM portable compressor. Now I think the standard in off-roading right now, especially if you're serious about your off-roading, is the Araby twin piston compressor. Those run approximately $600. The CFM on those is actually less than this guy right here. And this is one sixth the cost of that ARB. We bought this in early December and at the time, Napa, which is one of the few places that you can buy this, was completely sold out in Colorado Springs and they're online in stock on the website and we ordered it. It is listed on their site for $114 right now, but we actually got it with tax for $101 just by signing up for Napa Rewards. So at $100, this thing is amazing compared to what we used to have. Now 300 liters per minute, that's what it's rated at. It's about 10 and a half CFM, which makes it theoretically one of the fastest twin cylinder compressors on the market right now. And it seems like it's manufactured pretty well. It's got twin 60 millimeter stainless steel pistons. It's got an alloy head on it so that it dissipates heat pretty quickly. It's got a thermal fuse like most good compressors do to keep it from overheating. It has standard a six foot power line which actually goes directly to your battery and a 25 foot quick disconnect hose with just a screw on Schrader adapter, which is plenty of line to run from a stationary unit all the way around the Bronco in order to get it aired up. And then it comes with a bag to put everything in and you know, um, it's not, it's not an overwhelming quality of bag, but it, it actually works pretty good. A separate sleeve inside to put the hose separate it from the unit. And it also comes with various adapters that screw into this brass Schrader adapter so you can inflate toys and balls and things like that. So you can use it for soccer league. And one of the questions that I had when we bought this was how loud is it? I didn't run a decibel meter on it, but it really doesn't sound any louder than even those small one and a half CFM compressors that I had. Now in this video, we're gonna run a full test on this. We're gonna air up all four Bronco tires from about 21 pounds up to 40 pounds in sequence and see how long it takes us from first tire to last tire to get up to 40 pounds. And actually, I think you'd be surprised on how quick it is. So the positives of this unit, a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. Comes with a case, 25 foot hose, so you don't have to take it from tire to tire. It's over 10 CFM, and it comes with a one year warranty. The hose is a quick connect. It does have a gauge on it. The gauge will only tell you what the pressure's at when you shut the unit off. So it doesn't keep constant pressure. It'll actually tell you what pressure's in the hose until you shut the unit off and then it'll tell you what pressure is in the tire. So let's go to the Bronco. Let's take the Maxi Track 300 LPM. And let's see how quickly we can inflate those tires. Mandy has the timer in the car. We're gonna get up to 40 pounds on the truck. So I'm gonna hook up the Maxi Track to the battery. All right, Mandy, are you ready? All right, go. All right, go ahead and start the car. Next tire. 40. 40? So we're on the front driver tire at five minutes and 50 seconds, and we're about halfway on it. So I think we're gonna get this thing inflated in less than nine minutes. 40. All right, last tire. 40. Okay. How long? 855. 855, and that's with taking off the air hose and everything on all, all the other three tires anyway. Now we're gonna test to see how hot it actually got after four tires. 181, 182. Got a little warm, 
but after four tires, I would expect it to. All right, a steady 40 PSI is what it's showing. Let's go test that on the handheld digital tire pressure tool. So we are showing exactly 40 pounds on the gauge, and we're gonna take this off and use our digital tool. Yep, 39.5. Just like anything else we buy, we, we use it for a while, we find out where the weak points are or uh, where it could be better, and then we re-engineer it. And so what we're gonna be doing with this thing can run up to 90 amps, so we wanna have a direct line to the battery that has a quick connect in the back of the Bronco. We may either solid mount this in the Bronco somewhere, or I'm gonna get a large box to permanently mount it in that I can bring in and out of the Bronco. So when I'm not wheeling, I don't need it back there, I can pull it out. The second thing, on the end of this thing, I'm gonna put a Jasco adapter. And so what it does is it screws into this Schrader adapter. It has a short hose and then it has a quick connect that just pops onto the tire and has a button to pull back off again to make it very quick on and off. And it's gonna make it much easier to use in cold weather. That's our review on the Maxi Track 300. This thing is a dynamite little piece of compressor machinery. Over a minute per tire and sub nine minutes when you're running from tire to tire turning on and off the compressor. Most air compressors will do a tire in three to five minutes per tire. So you're talking 20 minutes plus, which is what we're used to with a smaller air compressor. With this one, getting it under 10 minutes means a lot. Jump on to Napa's website and grab one of these if you haven't already gotten an air compressor because we are super impressed with it. We're gonna be doing a hard wiring of this guy and placing this in the Bronco somewhere so that we don't have to keep pulling it in and out. That's gonna be coming in another video. And then also I'm probably going to be hooking it up to one of the auxiliary switch. We don't have to turn the compressor on and off. I'll probably just leave it on and put it on a switch and that way I can turn it on and off with the switch. It would make this thing dynamite. This summer we're going to be wheeling at least once a week if not more than that and so we want to make it to where it's super easy to use. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage. If you think this video was informative make sure you like and subscribe. We're putting out daily Bronco videos and you can check the end screen for all of those great videos and thank you for hanging out with us today.